Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Leo, this is your reading for the week of May 30th through June 5th. Whew. Your song is 24K Magic by Bruno Mars. Um, you guys this week are very, like, um... <laughs> There's a chaotic energy, let's just put it this way. For some of you is in the right place, meaning you guys are excited, you guys are um you guys are excited, you guys are like partying, you guys are just kind of like living your best life type of situation, right? For others for others of you it's kind of like the opposite for others of you there is a lot of arguments and a lot of pettiness coming through so um just take it as you will so we're going to go ahead and continue on and see where these energies are headed um for if either or um whether you are living your best life or you're going through some shit right now this is directly in in connection with another person so it doesn't have to necessarily be romantic you know this can be a new friend that you made and you know you guys are really vibing and clicking and you know you're trying different things with this person etc for others of you it's just conflict um, and arguments with um, people around you um, either because of difference difference of opinion um, but it, it definitely feels that whoever, if you, if you are in that energy where you're arguing with somebody a lot, this is somebody that you have always kind of had this tug of war type of energy with. If if you're having this tug of war with this person it's almost like you make excuses for their behavior but at the same time you bash what it is that they're doing so it's almost like you call out all their flaws but you also make excuses for those flaws for those of you that are more in this energy of you know kind of like partying and this and that and just living your best life there is a lot of trying new things a lot of like uh, it's almost like this excitement right um things at work are going great um you you're just kind of like embracing and living life to its fullest um without any kind of sort of restrictions let's put it this way uh and, and it just seems like it, it's almost like if you were to take a step and pause you'll be amazed at how much you're able to accomplish in a day in a week when you are truly living life the way that you want to live it right so it, it, it's almost like for the leo's energy is split this week some of you are looking at life from that doom gloom type of energy everything is always going wrong i'm always arguing i'm always fighting i can't move forward and then it's like the other half of you are just like oh everything is going right like life is awesome you know and and, and it's kind of like this this kind of thing where those of you that are living your best life you it wasn't that you weren't here before right it's not that you weren't struggling before it wasn't that you know shit happened it's just you chose to look at things from a different perspective and i feel that those of you that are feel that are still struggling with things have to understand that being positive and um you know whether it is that you do affirmations whether it is that you meditate whatever it is however it is that you do it right or however it is that you are trying to do it is not something that is going to click overnight right for some of you it may but for a lot of people unfortunately when you have lived life in that sort of um doom and gloom type of energy where you feel the world is constantly attacking you where you feel the world doesn't understand you where you feel everything and everyone is against you 
it takes time to get your mindset out of that and it is not something that you wish and hope for it is something that you work on every single day right so if you feel that the world is attacking you take a moment and ask yourself why do you feel that way can you see in the situation where you may have played a part in what is going on can you see your faults when it comes to arguments with other people can you see and and i'm not and that is not to say that all the all the fault is on you that's not what i'm saying but there is a sense here for those of you leo where you feel that everything is doom and gloom there is a failure here of taking accountability and acceptance now that acceptance and that accountability doesn't want to be taken because you feel that you are either going to feel worse or etc etc taking accountability and taking responsibility for your actions doesn't necessarily have to put you in a place where you're putting yourself down it is just like you know what yeah admitting i did that i did that moving forward that's not how i choose to live my life or those are not the actions or the words that i'm going to use and i feel that that is what those leos that are in this space of living your best life are at now for those Leos that are living their best life, they did or they are working through through things as well. So I feel those of you where things feel like it, they're getting better and things like that, you kind of need to watch yourself that you're not judging those that are not there. Um, so just kind of like keep that in mind. Like be happy that you are where you are be happy that you were able to free yourself from where it is that you were but do not use that freedom or that breakage or that release that you have gotten to put others down so just kind of keep that in mind because i feel that sometimes you leos um the energy that i'm picking up anyways kind of trails like very in between like that fine line like well now i'm better than you and it's like no you just figure something out first or before someone else um so just kind of like an fyi for you Leos. <clears throat> let's go ahead and see regardless of anything regardless of which of the two sides you are on things are going to start kind of slowing down in the sense of finding a little bit more balance and more alignment with you know with the universe with life itself so just kind of don't allow right the chaos whether it's good or bad to consume you because everything is for a season and your season is is going to rapidly change into something more steady and something more um structure so if you are in that doom and gloom type of energy it, it's almost like you're going to be working very soon towards getting into alignment and towards getting to that place where you feel um, a little bit more hopeful where you feel a little bit more aligned and for those of you that are in this like party yeah I can do it all there is structure coming into your life because some of you are either it, like it's almost like if you stay too much in that energy you're 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 going off to to like one side more than the other and you may end up losing the balance that you feel at the moment and kind of come crashing down so again with everything everything you know comes in season everything happens for a reason so just know that while you are at this what why are you at this space where you feel this the high of love or whatever you are staying balanced and you're staying structured in the sense that you're still taking care of the things that need to be taken care of Leo. so now i want you to take um a, a moment and think of a question and i'll get you some answers So here, it's not really a yes or a no, it's like you're the deciding factor. 
if you want this it's yours if you don't you don't it's almost like and i know it sounds like oh seriously like that's bs no it's not bs it's like are your intentions align with what you are thinking and what you're feeling in order to manifest this so some of you are in this space where you're wishing or hoping for something but you're spending the entire time thinking of everything that could go wrong so you want it but you're not putting the work in when it comes to direct your thoughts and your emotions your feelings towards what it is that you're trying to manifest some of you are just expecting something to fall on your lap and in reality there is some type of work that you need to put into it so let's go ahead and pick out a card for advice for you leo One advice card, Spirit for Leo. One advice card for Leo. And we have Feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. So again, regardless of whichever side you're on this week, right? You need to take some time to celebrate how far you've come. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, going out and drinking and this and that. This can be, you know, taking a bath, taking some time to just take yourself for a walk, um, meditating, just dancing on by yourself. But it's just like celebrating you and celebrating how far you have actually come and all the work that you have put into whatever it is that you're manifesting this week. Well, that is all that I have for you for this week, Leo. As always, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel, as well as donating for those of you that have. And if you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed, I encourage you guys to do so. It definitely helps to get the video out there for more people. If you would like a personal reading, the link to my website, along with all the links to all of my social media accounts, are down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.